Our story begins with Trunks, a time-traveling Saiyan from an alternate timeline, waking up in an unknown location, asking to himself, where am I? Then out of nowhere, a figure darts towards him. Trunks dodges out the way as she proclaims, Idiots! How dare you go messing around with time? This is unprecedented! Even I, the Kaioshin of time, don't know what to do with you. We are introduced to the Supreme Guy of Time as she falls flat on her face. Trunks, in disbelief, um, oh no, there's no explaining you're a way out of this one. The Supreme Kai of Time goes on to say, because you see, I've got proof. Unrolling a scroll in front of them. What were you thinking creating something like this? I've never seen any place like this in history. Turn yourself in. What is your goal? What are you talking about? I don't know anything about that. Huh? Really? You didn't make this? No. You're kidding. Don't tell me there's someone else screwing with time too. She's so loud. Um, excuse me. What is this place? Doki doki. This is the time nest. A place where we watch over the flow of time. I, the Kaioshin of time, and Toki Toki, the bird that moves time. Guard over time as a pair. The reason you got called here is because I caught you trying to manipulate time with that vehicle you call a time machine. So you're saying the fact that traveling to the past and future is a problem? Well, of course it is. Even if I, as the manager of time, make little mistakes changing history, everything could be totally ruined. Gulp. I had no idea, but still, I'm sorry. Well, at least you finally seem to understand the seriousness. At any rate, if you didn't make this place, I'd better hurry up and find out what did. Could you take me there with you? Huh? If my using the time machine caused any issues, it doesn't seem like just an apology will do. So can I help while you look for the source? Uh, that's... I don't think he's lying. And I don't sense any evil intent from him either. Plus, as the manager of time... I can't just let him go like this. With a snap of her finger, the Supreme Kai of Time changes Trunks' outfit to one more befitting of a time patroller. Okay, under my supervision, I give you permission to interfere with space and time. I call it the Time Patrol! Pretty cool, huh? Um, shouldn't we get going? No sense of spirit with you. This is... A place that never existed in history. A place with no history? Shh. There's someone here. How wonderful. Just being near it, I can feel it. The power of the spirit energy. Kiwi. Only a little more for us to gather. Before we're completely freed. A masked woman alongside an android and a masked figure. Stand ominously near a machine. Go, Mira. If you enter this tear in space-time and battle more strong fighters throughout history, we can get another large amount of Kiri. Leave it to me, Lord Toa. Source discovered. Wait, right there. <sighs> Nani? Ta-da! We are the Time Patrol and we're here to bring you in for messing with time. Oh, um, come on, Trunks. I need you to do a pose too, otherwise I'll look totally lame. Please focus on them, Miss Kaioshin. Oh, a Kaioshin who rules over time. Don't get in Lord Toa's way! Hey! Slow down a little, okay? Trunks leaps into action, slashing the key blast from Mira like it's nothing, letting out a quick little sigh. But just then, the masked enemy charges towards him, knocking the blade from his hand and send him off elsewhere on the planet. Work together and take him down at once. Yes, right away. I can't move my body. That's my time-stopping power freeze. I've stopped time around your bodies. Gotcha. Just as she traps the two in her power, a huge crash unfolds. Hey, Trunks, are you okay? Don't worry. Through the chaos, we can see now, fully close up, that this mass Saiyan resembles Bardock. I say that, but this guy's incredibly strong. Time to get serious. Trunks powers up to Super Saiyan. Yeah! Using the new power, Trunks charges at this masked Saiyan. Pew! 
They collide, throwing fists and volleys back at one another until both dramatically punch. Trunks able to shatter part of the mask on this masked Saiyan's face. Mira looking concerned. Toa in shock. He can really do it, the Supreme Kai of Time thinks to herself. As this Saiyan slowly begins to stand up, the other two look worried. To be disgraced like this, in front of Lord Toa, who made me? Mira begins to shatter his limits and power up. Such strength, he broke through the freeze. Mira charges towards Trunks. He's fast in just an instant. Here, a key blast, shot out, but hitting Mira? Feels like I finally woke up. He broke through the mind control. It is Bardock. Father of Goku. Looks like I gave you some trouble. Seems somehow I was being controlled. A tail. Is he a Saiyan? Plus his voice and face resemble Goku's. Hey, don't just stand there. He's coming. Mira charging up two blasts, putting them together and sending out a dark Kamehameha. Bardock and Trunks leap into action, fighting this powered up form of Mira. Back and forth the battle goes, till he is not backed to Lord Toa's feet. Gah, I'm sorry Lord Toa, for displaying such shameful battle. It was a splendid battle, Mira. We've gathered the Kiri we needed. Let's depart for now, shall we? Toa tapping the machine with her staff. I won't let you freeze, says the Kaioshin of time. Ha ha ha, I've had enough of being unable to move. Toa flipping off her cape and revealing her villainous glory. Wait, stop. A dark energy swirls around Mira, Toa, and this mysterious machine. Don't lose your temper. You'll understand everything soon enough. When the dark demon realm is released, Supreme Kai of Time noticeably shocked by this revelation. What is the dark demon realm? And why is it a big problem that it's going to be released? Oh, you understand. Don't you, Miss Kaioshin of Time? See ya. It doesn't seem like there are any clues left here. Still, we found the source of the problem. Let's go back to the Time Nest for now. Sorry, I can't help. I don't remember anything from the time I was brainwashed. It's okay, but seeing your face got me wondering. Is Sun Goku, or rather, Kakarot, your... What are you doing? We're leaving now! Supreme Kai Time intervenes, kicking Trunks in the back of the head. Okay, bye. I'll look over your involvement in all of this. So just forget we were ever here. Got it? There's still something I wanted to ask. Don't interfere with history more than necessary. Battle turns away, smirk on his face. Flying off into space. Ah, jeez! What the heck's going on? We can't just leave that place like it is, but should I catch that Toa person first? Ah, oh, I'm worried about the Dark Demon Realm too. Why is everything... Why does everything have to happen all at once? Miss Kaioshin, what is the Dark Demon Realm? It would take a while to explain, but to put it simply, there's a space where an army of evil sorcerers were imprisoned. The Dark Demon Realm is the world built by those sorcerers. We see a maniacal looking silhouetted figure and a tree branching off into various staging areas with a skull keep at the top. I've heard of people leaving the demon realm before, but to think they've been able to get this far, we then see Deborah in Supreme Kai of Time's mind. Evil? That's quite a way of putting it. Huh? Huh? <gasps> Shocked expressions from the Kaioshin of Time and Trunks as Demigra! makes his appearance. Why are you here? Kaioshin, who is this person? One of those sorcerers. But he was supposed to have been sealed off from space-time. Supreme Kai of Time looks nervous. How did he get into the Time Nest? Answer me, Demigra! We heard it from your friends. What does releasing the Demon Realm mean? Friends? You are mistaken. My days of serving them are long past. I have no interest in the demon realm or other shadow worlds. Instead, with the magic power I've acquired over the years, I can conquer everything in this world. For that, I will absolutely obtain both that bird and your position as the Kaioshin of time. Toki Toki darts behind the Kai of time. Look forward 
to it, won't you? Hold on, Demigra begins to disappear as Trunks readies his sword. To think that in the years they were imprisoned, all these different factions have formed. The situation's worse than I thought. Things really have gotten bad. Let's go after him right away! The burden moving forward is too great. You've done enough. I'm sending you back to your world, the Kaitas. As she cuddles Turkey Turkey. That's... Those guys... Those guys' power's way out of the ordinary. But that just means until they make their next move. I have to get stronger too! I can't just stand by and let this happen. It would be tough on my own, that's for sure. So I'm asking for your help once again. And to help you get stronger quickly, I'm calling the strongest warriors from your memories. Goku? Huh? Trunks? Is that you? And that is where we end chapter one of the Dark Demon Realm mission. What are your thoughts, everybody? Did you like this reading of the manga? Give a huge shout out to everyone who translated and got copies of the raw so I could bring them to you. And where do you think the story is going next? I know we cover a lot of the Dragon Ball Super Card game on here, but I'm so glad to finally be bringing you something I have personally loved over the years. And a huge amount of support would go a long way. This is one of the first times the Dragon Ball Super uh, Superheroes manga has been accessible. And if you want this series to continue, please hit that like button and comment below. I am using the Japanese scans um, as the translations are very much a product of their own being. But if you want to find out more about them, you can head over to Mangadex. And I want to give a huge shout out. And I want to give a huge shout out to Bashamaru for providing all of these in one location. I will link to where I got this from below in the description. Thank you guys and welcome to the Dark Demon Realm mission.